The patient had stable disease on imatinib for roughly two years, but uh, in 2016, she had progressive abdominal pain and CT scans showed uh, growth in the primary tumor as well as a new liver metastasis. Uh, imatinib was stopped and she was started on sunitinib 37.5 milligrams daily. So sunitinib targets the KIT receptor among other receptors and it uh, uh, was shown to uh, substantially improve progression-free survival in a placebo-controlled study in patients who either progressed or were intolerant of first-line imatinib. Progression in uh, GIST can sometimes be a little misleading. Uh, we know that there are rare cases where patients initiate first-line therapy uh, and their tumors, particularly liver metastases, can sometimes enlarge um, but also become more cystic. And in these cases, it's important not to be misled. Uh, the increase in size is, does not necessarily um, um, imply disease progression, and uh, the clue to that is uh, more necrotic appearance to the tumor. Eventually, those tumors often start shrinking subsequently. Um, but, uh, you know, after two years of treatment, uh, that's sort of when progression is almost expected in a high-grade uh, gist, and if the tumors are enlarging without this decrease in, um, in tumor enhancement, it probably represents a real progression. Sometimes we see uh, sp specific sites of progression, for example, within a tumor that has become cystic, sometimes you'll see growth of, um, of enhancing tumor within the cystic tumor. And this really represents a site of resistance uh, that implies uh, localized progression. This patient probably has developed secondary resistance to imatinib. The patient was initially sensitive, and we know that further mutations in the um, KIT receptor lead to resistance to imatinib. In the metastatic setting, generally we obtain scans, either CT scans or MRIs of the abdomen and pelvis. Uh, in patients with high-grade tumors, we tend to do these scans fairly frequently. In patients with pretty stable, especially lower-grade tumors, uh, probably every six months would be appropriate. In the surveillance setting, after curative resection, we tend to adjust our scan frequency to, um, to the risk and, and grade of the tumor. Uh, after the first couple of years, patients with relatively low-risk tumors can often be monitored uh, annually and sometimes even less frequently.